smoking the fuck off gun, need a fire, don't hold your breath. One nigga try to just cause he do that shit for me. Got a house up in the bird, but my mom still in the streets. I don't know the act. That ain't shit that I'm packing this compact. I so around my city, I work that rack. I believe I'm keeping it really. Real shit, clock is dog. With some old hands on field trips like chaperones. Uh, from the murder capital, what catch a body's capital? Bitch, if anything, you go for anything, you ain't legit. Cross your dog for some petty tank. Won't get my respect, you been. Petty tank, petty tank, yeah, petty tank, petty tank, petty tank. Man, four ways, nigga, talking about 100,000 on that. Track hard, look at me, fireball. Tell me why I need a tree. I'm going through this running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yo, just finished your workout. Battery died, so I'm just switching out the um, um battery real quick, putting it in its charger there. And now I deleted, I deleted all of my um, um old videos. So yes. You don't have to worry about the memory shutting down, you know what I mean? The video getting cut short, unless something else good is done. But, <clears throat> mine's just burnt out. The workout was tough today. You ever been like scared of your own workouts? You know you're about to put yourself through some hell? That's how it was today. And I didn't, I didn't do the amount of reps that I thought I was gonna do with the pull-ups, but that's all right, you know, give or take goods up and down, but I'm getting better. But yeah, I was burnt out. And I decided to end the workout with 50 burpees just to do a little bit of that hip cardio. Now I'm get some food in because Mons needs a little bit of grub, you feel what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm checking in on you, see how you're making out. Like, comment, subscribe for sure. Let me know what's happening in the comment box. Link in the description if you want the Instagram and Facebook and all that follow. If you want to see more of the daily life, stay tuned in all day, yeah? But I'm about to get some food. And watch a little TV, that's what I like to do. A little TV with my food, you know? Just calm down a little bit, because like I said, I might as well just galloping two seconds ago in that workout. Hoy! I'm on this journey, boy, and I'm gotta be focused, because the stuff that I'm putting my body through and myself through, there's no joke, yo. But nevertheless, I'm gonna end it right here and catch the next clip. Yeah. Oh, don't pull up with the, everything is pretty much fully on the way because it said it's like nine to like, but um, yeah, that's the vibe. Uh, you see that? So that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, other than that, man, I don't got time. I don't wanna play with the police at all. But other than that, I will be trying to call the rim shot. So I'm there. Because there's a baby. She's emotional, she's hormonal, she's all of that. Yeah, you just don't have kids all at the same time. Yeah, you got it. Like. Yes, sir. I'm saying my G. About to just season this chicken real quick, and then get this video uploaded to you. Get in the editing room. You know what I mean? It didn't thaw. The chicken didn't thaw fast enough. So I threw that thing in a little bit frozen. I ain't gonna lie. So let's throw it out enough right there. Season it up. And then you press open up that oven, boy. That heat pushes out. That's how it probably feels like somewhere else in the rest of the world. I saw Texas was like 110 degrees. I'm saying, oh boy. Bermuda, it's, it's humid here, but like, it ain't 110. Come on, bro. Hold on, hold on, let me fix these straps. It ain't 110 degrees in Bermuda, but it is humid. That's for sure. Actually, this ain't gonna work. Mon Mon's standing in front of me. Thing like this here. Oh no. Uh, not the best choice. Just off of that deal, bro. For real. But yeah. 
Got a nice little training session in today. Nice little mobility session and then ended it off with some breakfast again. I did that same hit training yesterday because I didn't get no cardio in today. So I decided to do that hit training. Anytime I don't get a chance to do like some other form of cardio like I normally would do, then that go to 50 breakfast is what I am for just to really get something going, you know? Nice little hip cardio session. But yeah, I noticed that my shoulder, my right shoulder, it's a little tweaked. I don't know if it's from my form, the exercise, or if it's from um, like the machine. Cause I noticed that the machine that I work out on, the full body, it isn't fully balanced. So like there is a little half inch of me that's a little more forward or a little more back is not an even um, piece of equipment. I just noticed that, but it is what it is. So I'm kind of wondering if that's the cause of it or if maybe I'm overextending somewhere or lack of mobility, something. I'm trying to figure it out, but you know, that's why I do my mobility training and all that stretch and everything like that because that really helps me to prevent those kind of injuries and all that, seriously. And Mons don't want to deal with no injury. Mons wants to just continue to get the workout in. The body fat still cutting down. The muscles still getting built. My reps are still getting higher and higher every time I go do my workout session. So I really want to keep that momentum going. Honestly, I really still think that we got to reach that lower body fat percentage before the summer's over. As you all know, and if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I didn't achieve the success I wanted to achieve this month which was get to that body fat percentage but that's all right <coughs> damn sage got all up in my lungs but that's all right because you know there's a lot of there's a lot of trial and error and everything like that with what I'm doing so now that <coughs> mercy Oy. I really inhaled a good bit <coughs> Oh, I forgot the turmeric, you know, got to help that inflammation. Like I said, you know, your body season up. There's certain herbs, spices and all that that you go use that help with that inflammation. That's probably what could be the cause of your shoulder pain. It could be inflammation. You never know. So I'm just trying to do all the recommended things to keep the body to the best shape cap capable for as long as I can, you know, longevity is what I'm working on, definitely. But that's the situation right now. A little frustrating. You know, I don't like to slow down or be slowed down, but I definitely have to continue to stay aware of what I'm doing. And that's a cry out for help me. Have you feel any pains while you're working out and all that? I know some people try to push through it, but try to pay attention to it. Hold on, just gonna put this chicken back. It's testy balance. Got all the oils and all that. Don't wanna spill on the tray. Oh, uh, something there. Yeah. All right. Wow, that should be probably for another, let's see, let's go for 20 minutes. Don't wanna overcook it. Wanna come just on time. Wanna cook just on top. Got into another trade. The last trade that I got into, I lost. I held the position for a long, long time. When I could have got out, I actually could have won a couple trades, but because I stayed in the trade too long, then that's why I didn't make out too sharp. I lost out being greedy. That's one thing I'm learning with this trading. You know, you can't really be greedy. You can't try to always go for that big number, that big hit sometimes, those small wins. Oh, what really matters in the training. So the psychology that I'm building, hold on, excuse me. Ay. The psychology that I'm building is just basically trying to just get in and get out. You know, don't worry about what I could have won because what ends up happening is I lost. <laughs> you know, I lose. Basically, that's the right terminology. But it's all good, it's all great. It's all baby steps. I'm brand new to this trading. I'm brand new to a lot of these things that I'm doing that you see me doing. So 
I'm real patient with it. I'm real calm, but at times I get frustrated. It is what it is, but yeah, I'm just trying to stay patient and understand that, hey, what you're going to achieve is motherfucking impact and packable, you know? And I know I'm gonna achieve it because I'm putting my mind to it and things that I put my mind to, I do achieve. I have history to prove that. So that's what keeps me going is the fact that, hey, Joe, you know that you have accomplished things before. You know that it's been tough. You know you have to crawl before you walk. You know these steps. That's what it is. You jumped into a new era, a new zone, a new field. So you just gotta be patient and you gotta be the little one coming up, you know, from private to corporal to Lieutenant Sergeant, you know, I don't know how it fully goes. Excuse you all that are out there doing your thing or have did your thing, respects to you, you know, as far as the soldiers and everything. Um, but yeah, you know, so I'm just trying to stay calm as I build my steps up. So that's the plan. But right now, I'm gonna focus on this, which is my editing. That's something I can control. Tomorrow, the future, all that I cannot control, but I can make them small steps every day towards it. And stick to the plan yeah so i'm about to get this uploaded to you you feel me hope you all enjoying the video so far you know smash that like button definitely subscribe for sure leave a comment let me know what's happening how you make a note and yeah share this video possibly you know trying to get that motivation out there to people and just continue to motivate myself it's not easy it's fun and sometimes it's not fully tough sometimes it's like just yeah, this is what I came for. And then other times it's it's pretty pretty heavy on your resistance because honestly it's just me that I see doing this. There's no one next to me doing the same thing in my realm. Everybody's pretty, pretty much with me, everybody's still that that nine to fiver. Or they they wanna run a business, but it's more like a brick and mortar business. The online process for the people that I'm around is still brand new, you know? Everybody's still on the wave of hey get a nine to five or go to college and you know get a career as well as hey I'm going to get a building rent it out and all that as far as in the YouTube situation or investing money and trading and all that they know about investing they have did it you know investing has been around for a very long time so people know about investing but as far as what their observation was during their time wasn't the observation that I have now so me doing it they're kind of like, all right, that's, that's you, dear thing, whatever's clever, let's see the outcome. So for me, I'm just in this this run by myself. So it's, that's the resistance that when I lift my head up, I want to talk to somebody about it. It's kind of taboo. <clears throat> it's like, okay, you know, okay, I see what you're doing, but I don't really understand what you're doing. Like if I also walk around a party or go to a whatever with my camera out and all that type of stuff, that's still like the people that don't want to be on camera. You know, old school type stuff, you feel me? So it's, it's pretty difficult to to do the whole YouTube and then show more of the livelihood when I'm trying to keep respectful, you know, because the people around me, like I say, they want to enjoy the time, they don't want to be recorded, they don't want their conversations heard, nothing like that. Versus where the people that I watch on YouTube, you know, they're in a circle where everybody's YouTube and all. Well, everybody's kind of on the same wave, so it's a little easier to go along that path because you got those people next to you. But I chose this dream and when you go to sleep you tend to be by yourself in that dream so I don't expect to see anybody next to me but that is the resistance that I deal with being a person trying to aim into this new world of entrepreneurship with the online business you know versus brick and mortar and the old school wave that used to be out there but I'm gonna keep pushing through and I pray you keep watching I pray you just keep sending that motivation, liking the videos, you know, definitely that makes me feel good. It definitely helps these videos to get out and put into YouTube's algorithm so other people can see it and enjoy the videos and just, hey, I want to continue to keep that lane open for others to come through and, and be successful in life and the careers that they want. Took me a little while to figure out exactly what it is that I want to do in life. That could be another story, I ain't gonna go on forever and ever. But hey, I got here and <clears throat> I'm working on it. And for other people who may jump off the stoop late in life or maybe a, a late bloomer or whatever the case may be, they can see this and be like, hey, well, shoot, you know, there's somebody out there that's handling it, someone out there going through it. They're not gonna just decide to not handle business because of being a late bloomer or just figuring out, you know, better late than never, as he's saying. 
And that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, man, I'm trying to keep that lane open. People have did it before me, and I wanna just keep that open for people that are coming behind me, you know what I mean? But I'ma head out. For y'all that don't know, I'm Joe Average, AKA Joe F. But we ain't no average Joe's if you don't know. You guys are nine to fivers who save our bosses' lives, save our lives by handling both our business at the same time. Like superheroes, feel me? That's what we do. I'ma head out, peace out, bless out.